it's a really big SmackDown that they've got. Like you've, um, to me, it's like the appearances of all the legends are whatever. I'm kind of curious to see if they shoot an angle with Goldberg. Um, but the other legends, to me, it's kind of we've seen so them all. Go- so Goldberg's uh, announced. They've announced Goldberg. They didn't announce it on this show, though, did they? No, they've only announced it on the website. Right. Yeah. So um, I'll pull up the the list of all the names. But then they've got uh, this match with Owens against Shane McMahon, which should be a crazy Shane McMahon, oh, Kevin Owens stunt fest. I mean, yep. this is probably going to be an insane match uh, on TV. You've got the women's tag match, and then you've got Kofi and Brock. Like, it's a really solid show, I think. Going, uh, I think they've really set up this debut very strong. It's a packed uh, two-hour show, for sure. So here are the names that they've announced for SmackDown next week. Um, Kurt Angle, Lita, Mick Foley, Booker T, Hulk Hogan, Trish Stratus, Bill Goldberg, Jerry Lawler, Mark Henry, Ric Flair, and Sting. So with Hogan and Flair, they're going to be on both shows next week. Okay, cool. All right, so there you go. That is a uh, that is SmackDown next week. A I lot mean, I wish to cram I, in. I wish I did. They air a promo at least or something that I missed. I I don't think they've announced these on TV once. It's it, they did do a website story uh, when this first was announced, but that was that, that was last month they announced this. Really? Okay. Yeah, you figure like this would be kind of the time and place to do it, but they do have Monday to to, to do it as well. So yeah. So yeah, yeah you. It's I, I just hope it's not. Like the other shows where it's like 25 people that they've booked, it is a smaller number, but still, it's going to be trying to cram a lot into these two hours. When you figure Kofi and Brock is going to be, uh, I don't think that's going to be a short match. It's not going to be a lengthy one after. Owens and Shane, I think, is going to be a long match as well. So, I mean, you're talking about a two-hour show. Uh, Mm -hmm. There's a lot to fit into that two hours. Yeah. I mean, I would say coming out out of both Raw and SmackDown, they they both promoted next week's shows. There's their quote unquote season premieres as really big shows. To me, it's almost a bit of a surprise because I thought all the attention would be, would be put on October fourth, um, and instead it feels like you know right now there's going to be like three or four big events occurring next next week for the WWE. So it's great if you're a fan, but I think it potentially risks October fourth being a little bit watered down. But again, I'm sure the the addition of Raw that's coming up will. I would assume heavily promote Fox. I I I think they've done a really good job hyping up this this Fox special. Like to me, it does feel like the big show of all of the stuff they're promoting next week. Above Raw, above NXT, above Hell in a Cell. Um, that to me to me it's like the biggest show, and I I think they've done um it's a really strong job um building up. Like I'm expecting that's going to have a really big audience next Friday night. <laughs> 